Hi, this is Tom Wales, Deputy Director of Analysis at Oxford Analytica, and I'm here with Graham Hutchings, the Director of Analysis at OA, for our weekly outlook on political risk in the global economy. Um, Graham, the uh, world's press has been consumed uh, by uh, the events in China, mm -hmm. uh, the fall from grace of the Communist Party chief of Chongqing, um, Bo Xi Lai. Mm -hmm. Uh, his wife and a mysterious Englishman. Um, now, I, I think without dwelling on the details of this particular uh, event, um, what, what should this say to um, executives in charge of multinationals that do business in China about uh, Chinese political risk mm -hmm. and uh, Chinese political stability in general? Well, I suppose if we say what we should to begin with, which is that this is the most dramatic development in Chinese politics for at least 20 years. We're saying two things. One is we are emphasizing the unique nature of it. But secondly, we're also suggesting, I suppose, that politics has been relatively smooth. And I think there's been a wide acceptance by those doing business in China, observers of China likewise, that the politics of China don't matter and they're managed rather well by the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, if that was the case, and I have doubts whether it was, uh, what happened to Bo Xi Lai shows that that management is not at all effective. And it's an augury of further trouble, not necessarily of this nature, but arising from what essentially has happened here, which is that politics has escaped from the palace mm. and that is dangerous for political stability. One of the things that uh, I should say as a US political anal uh, analyst that often annoys me uh, in analysis of political risk in the United States is that people often look at the United States and they say, look at this shambolic uh, legislative process. Uh, democracy is just a big mess. Mm. Um, you can't agree on anything. Uh, there's constant uh, apparent political paralysis. Mm. Yet my feeling is that uh, one of the things that should give great reassurance to investors uh, and should have given reassurance to S&P uh, when they were considering the uh, U.S. sovereign debt downgrade is the transparency of the system. Everybody is aware in actually great detail about all the risks that are present. But China's are made a virtue of keeping it behind the high walls that surround Zhongnan High where the leaders live and work on the basis that the Chinese Communist Party elite are in the best position to conduct this business and it really doesn't concern ordinary people as long as you deliver on the economy, as long as you deliver on China's international standing, as long as uh, stability appears to reign beyond its walls. But that's come spectacularly undone mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to really in the current situation prove inadequate to the task because you have a wired public, a globally engaged public, a public that seizes upon every disturbance that emerges from this political setup. And one of the reasons why Bo Xi Lai is such a dramatic departure is precisely this public involvement in the sense that people knew about it quickly, uh, they commentated on it quickly, it's already a matter that is live and will remain so despite the party's attempt this week to try and draw a line under it. So investors take caution. Uh, beyond the sort of general uh, issue of Chinese political risk, what does this say about the political scene uh, and the governance scene in China as the leadership transition, as we move towards the leadership transition? Uh, what does that look like? Well, there's a leadership transition once every 10 years on the scale that is going to happen in October. It's well planned in advance. Training programs of a kind are introduced in the sense that people are identified and put into appropriate jobs and so forth. So if the Bo Xi Lai thing had happened two years ago, it would have been a lot less important. They'd have got it out of the way. They've tried to get it out of the way now. Is it going to mean that Xi Jinping is go not going to be the party leader and Li Keqiang not the prime minister, which is very widely and rightly expected, the answer is no. But beneath those people in the Politburo lineup, the Bo Xi Lai drama may have an effect, may upset the balance, may 
bring a disposition of forces, the policy implications of which are not immediately clear, but which is probably going to make it harder for the executive uh, to get their way. So this is, uh, this is grit in the wheel. This is uh, an example of dysfunctionality of the kind that you rightly pointed out is on parade in open societies. It's now on parade in China and it's going to be repeated rather than rare. Well, once again, uh, thank you for joining us and uh, we look forward to seeing you again next week.